Hello, today we are going to talk about importing and exporting components. So let's get into it really fast today. Okay, here we have the, the root file, like where you have our main component. So it's mentioned in the previous video about your first component. You remember that you did the profile and the gallery, and that's fine. And then we have inside the gallery, like three profiles. We already talked about this. So I'm going to continue here. So what you have, you have everything in the same file. In this case, it's like in the app.js. So in our example, it's also in the app.js. So you get the idea. But now let's talk about multiple files. So to have exporting and importing, it just makes sense when you have multiple files, right? Because if you just have one file, you don't need to export and you don't need to import. So that's the first concept. Like you have multiple files, multiple JavaScript files or TypeScript files. And you have two ways to import and export files in JavaScript, but you are not actually importing and exporting the files. You can export like a piece of the file. And usually with React, we are going to export what? A function, because our components are functions. So the first thing that you can do, you can create a new JS file, and then you can export your function because the components in modern JS, they are functions. And you have two ways. The first way is using the default so we don't provide the name. You say, okay, I am exporting something, but you don't need to know the name to import. So you can just use the default. And I also have a way where you can put the name. So it's called default and name it export. You're going to see the name it exports in a moment. So here you have like the app importing the gallery from the gallery file. And it's you can see the export default here. Okay, and you are going to understand like how to import correctly, depending on if you use the default or if you use the name it export. So let's continue here. And you have the gallery defining the profile, but it's not exporting the profiling there, but it's exporting the gallery as a default export. And then you have the app that is importing the gallery. Okay, and then it's exporting for the application to run this, this component that is the root component of this app. Notice that you don't need to put the .js here in most of the bundlers. And if it's TSX or JSX as well, usually you can just hide the extension here and it's going to work without any problems. But let's expand a little bit here and understand like a few ways that you can do it. So the first way that you can just export use default, you can also export using the name of the function. So you could do like this, and you can also export like both. We could have one with the, just with the name of the function and other without the name. But I don't recommend that you mix this. I think it's better to just use one type of export. And here, I'm not just reading the docs to you, I'm also giving my opinion. I would say that it's better to use named exports because you named your variable and then you can import with the same name everywhere in your code so you have consistency. Let's look why I'm saying that. Let's scroll down a little bit. And you can see here, like when you use the default, you're going to export like this. But the difference is that this name button here, when you import the default one, you can use any name. So if I change this from button to B, it's going to work. But as a developer, I don't like this because I want to have the same consistent name everywhere. Now in the named import, you need to use the curly braces and you need to use the same name. It's like destructing this file in the named exports function here. So in my opinion, it's a much better code pattern. So I always use just like name it export unless the framework or something that I'm using is requiring that I use the default one. But in general, when I have a choice, I use always name it exports. And also one thing that is very important to, to understand here that like this, if you just have the export default without any name, that's even worse because that's going to cause a problem when you are debugging your code, because in this case, this component has no name at all. So you can see there is no name even for the function inside the file. So 
it's better if you want to do the default export, you do like this, you put the name here and never just export an anonymous function because that's going to be unnamed and you are going to learn later like how to use the React Dev tools and it's going to be terrible for you to find your co component there. Also, you can like export and export multiple components from the same file, but you need to be careful here because in some cases it's very confusing when you start to import and export a lot of things. Usually you want to export just one thing, but in a few cases, maybe you want to export more than one, but you can see here like how this is confusing, right? Like if I'm exporting the profile from the gallery component, can you see that's a little bit weird? Like you have the gallery, but you are getting the profile from here. I, I think that's also not a good practice, but you can do it. It's going to work, but I think your code is going to be a little bit confused. And then they are showing here that you can mix. So you have like this with a name and this with default, and then you are going to import in different ways. You could even import in the same line. That's more common than doing like this. You just put a comma here. But anyway, like I don't think this is, is a good practice, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. And so to recap, we have like the root component, the first one that's going to render in the div, in the, in the initial HTML that you have. Then you can import and export components. You can use default exports and name it exports. I prefer to use the name it ones. And what you use to export is going to define how you are going to import. And you can think of like name it exports as like destructing the object that is the file when you import in the other side. And you can also export multiple components from the same file, but I also don't recommend that you do that. And to wrap up here, they also have a challenge that you get this profile from this gallery and you move to a new file. So it's going to look better because you're going to have like one component export being exported for one file. I think this is a better approach. So you should be able to write here how to export this component from this profile.js file here. And that was it for this video. So practice this, this approach here. I recommend you to focus in the named one, but that's your call, that's your, your preference. If you like this video, please share with your friends and also press the like button and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.